What's up gang, Jose here at Wire Ninjas, and today we got a cool one for you. Little installation day here in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. We're throwing a TV panel up on the wall. We're relocating a bunch of low voltage circuits and equipment as well. Uh, as of right now, the living room's a mess with all the, the router, the Google router as well, the Lutron hub, and then network attached storage. It's all just a bundle of wires right behind the AV cabinet. So we're gonna wall mount the TV panel as it currently stands on the cabinet and relocate all that equipment and wiring so the living room will look much better, more aesthetically pleasing, much cleaner, and we'll still retain the full functionality of all the equipment. Let's go check it out. All right, gang, so now we're inside the home. Let's check out what's going on in here, and I have to show you, this looks so cool. <laughs> I really like this, man. It's got depth, it's got texture, it's got color, it's got character. Anyways. So as you can see, the install team is hard at work here. They've already got the TV panel on the wall. The TV used to sit right up top of this cabinet. Much cleaner when it's floating on the wall like that. And uh, this is the networking equipment. It's exactly what I was talking about. This is very common in a lot of homes. A lot of homes you're gonna see all this crazy mess of wires and part of our job is to get rid of all this. Google Mesh Hub, Net Lutron Bridge. Network attached storage, traditional Verizon router. Um, also part of this, we're gonna upgrade all the Verizon equipment and we'll do a separate unboxing on all that equipment and the installation as well, so check that out. This place is gonna look a lot better with all this gone, the TV on the wall. Everyone will be much happier. We're about midway here through install. And let's check up on the boys. It looks like they freshly cut this gang out. So this is gonna be our low voltage run back to the TV from the equipment closet. Uh, the reason we chose this location, I'll get into. Oh, look, Steve, that is your coax right there. <laughs> so, but it's probably stapled down, so we're going to have to extend and run a new line. So all the equipment's getting installed in this closet, right? Now, if you take note, we have a wall here. This is another closet. Uh, they decided they wanted the equipment here. They, they, you know, they had the shelves built for it and everything. And so as you can see, we have about a foot of space to work with in here. So the gang pretty much has to go here. So the way we determined where to cut for that is we need a point of reference to start. So we used this wall as a point of reference, this little molding. We measured off that molding and took into account the offsets with the, with the additional wall in the way and stuff like that. And we determined that on the other side of this wall, you have The one closet starting here and the other closet going that way. So that's our median line. Also, we needed it to be under the shelving itself. So we marked out the shelving and we decided with the perimeter of the TV, we decided to place the gang here knowing we'll be behind the TV and we'll meet the other side of this wall where we need to. Now they can begin to build the circuits. Coaxial is gonna go up and into the closet. HDMI's are gonna come out. Cat's gonna come out to feed the TV with hardwired internet connection. I think the bat that about covers it. So as you can see, we're starting to get our, our cabling in place. We have two HDMI's coming through. We're gonna run two cats, one for internet hardwired to the panel, and then one just as a backup. We could use it for IR data transmission or video bailing or anything else later on down the road. Um, after all the wire runs are complete, we'll, we'll plate this, you know, we'll get our gang in, our low voltage gang and our plate, nice little brush plate. Then we'll throw the panel back all on the wall. And then the rest of the work is gonna take place in the cabinet wiring in all our equipment. As you can see, Steve's starting to route power. We're gonna route power first and then we'll start throwing equipment in here. All right, gang, we are completed here on installation. So let's take a look at the work that was completed. Now, last you saw this space, there was a real big mess of wires. The TV panel was located on the AV cabinet. We installed it on the wall, wall mounted it with uh, Sanus VLMP50, which happens to be my favorite standard tilting wall mount. The mount's awesome. It's got a nice clean gap, you know or a lack thereof, not a big gap off the wall. It's got tilt and it's got level adjustment. Also, it's nice, big, strong mounts. It'll hit multiple studs. 
and it will last you forever to be honest i recommend keeping all the hardware because it seriously will last forever so this is our install location uh, if you guys recall a little bit earlier we had all this equipment located in this corner it was a giant mess of equipment we had the network attached storage the router the cable box, um, a Google, a Lutron device. But as you can see now, there's nothing. And now we can push the cabinet even further towards the wall, opening up the space more in this room, which is really nice because we actually have a really nice room to work with. And Xander. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> so this is the install in its completion. We'll take a look at the equipment closet too. And one thing to note is I kind of like to push for sound. I'm an audio guy. I really, really, really like audio. Of course, video as well, but there was no sound solution in here. So I started recommending Sonos equipment. Thinking about the ARC, but we settled on a beam, which isn't a bad choice. No compromise here. It's small. It's aesthetically pleasing. It packs a lot of good quality dynamic sound. So we went ahead and grabbed the beam real quick so we can complete, you know, offer a complete installation all in one day. So the sound got upgraded. The TV itself got wall mounted, upgrading the aesthetics overall. The viewing angle is actually better. When we wall mount TVs, we like to take into account the viewing angle. So this is the seating. You're looking straight at the TV. It's beautiful. The homeowner actually mentioned that he's actually happier with it on the wall. You can see it better. And because it's further back now, you get more viewing of the surface. You know, you get, you capture more of the surface. You can see it better overall. So upgraded the audio TV, got a nice upgrade room overall, got an upgrade with the aesthetics and removing all the equipment. We built a bunch of low voltage circuits to make that happen. That includes cat and coaxial as well as HDMI, audio video distribution. Now this is our equipment closet. As you can see, we have our network attached storage, our Google mesh, the cable box, our new Verizon tower. We install a bunch of new Verizon equipment. This is our Luchon bridge and then our power center. That's everything. Whew, equipment wise. So, I think that completes the installation. Everybody's tired, hungry, and ready to go home. What's up, Jeff? <laughs> but it's pretty cool, man. This room got a huge upgrade. We definitely gave the home and the homeowners what they wanted, but we also exceeded the expectations a little bit time-wise, as well as cleanliness. We left everything perfectly clean, as we always do. I guess these cables need to be repurposed. Yeah, I don't like to throw stuff out unless we have to. It's nice to repurpose stuff, whether it's here at the home or elsewhere at another site. All right, guys, that wraps up the install here. We hope you had a, <laughs> a good time with us. Uh, we like doing these install videos, honestly. Uh, it, it's pretty cool because it, it really shows off what we do, how we do it, and what time frame we could do it in. Also, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, I hope it helps you in any way possible. Um, Part of this, this whole series is to offer help, you know, not just to show off what we can do, but also help you guys in any audio video endeavors you may have. So we're hoping to put out a lot more content of like this, as well as other types. Uh, we're going to get pretty in depth on some other stuff, you know, calibration, stuff like that, the use of tools, the termination of cables and stuff like that. So check us out and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.